friends in this video we shall learn heron's formula and by using heron's formula we will find area of triangle say abc is a triangle and measure of side ab b a and say measure of side bc b b and measure of side ac p c so if i add the measure of all the sides then i will get perimeter so perimeter will be what perimeter is sum of measure of all the sides a plus b plus c if i add the measure of all the sides then we will get perimeter now if we divide perimeter by 2 then we will get semi perimeter semi perimeter is nothing but half of perimeter semi perimeter means perimeter by 2 perimeter is a plus b plus c and semi perimeter will be a plus b plus c by 2 so semi perimeter will represent by letter s so the heron's formula of area of a triangle is root over s s minus a s minus b s minus c here s is semi perimeter and a b c are the measure of sides now by using this formula we shall solve the questions given in exercise 12.1 question number one a traffic signal board indicating school ahead is an equilateral triangle with sides a find the area of the signal board using heron's formula the question is saying about a traffic signal board which is in the form of an equilateral triangle and the measure of the side is a now we are asked to find area of the triangle by using heron's formula and in second part the perimeter is given and you are asked the area of the signal board so first we will try first part after that we will do second part since it is in the form of an equilateral triangle we know in equilateral triangle the measure of all the sides are equal since measure of one side is a it means the measure of other two sides will also be a so here a will be a b will be a and c will be because it is an equilateral triangle and in equilateral triangle the measure of all the sides are equal so we took a b c equal to a here semi perimeter will be a plus b plus c by 2 since b and c are equal to a so we can replace b and c by a so a plus a plus a by 2 a plus a plus a gives 3 a so semi perimeter is 3 a by 2 therefore area of signal board is root over s s minus a s minus b s minus c here we are using heron's formula so in place of s we can put 3 a by 2 so 3 a by 2 then here again we are replacing s by 3 a by 2 and a is equal to a and s is equal to 3 a by 2 minus b b is equal to a a by 2 minus c c is equal to a now we shall solve this equation 3a by 2 so if you take lcm we get 2 3a minus 2 into a 2a same here we will get 3a minus 2 into a 2a lcm will be 2 again here 3a minus 2 into a 2a Now if we subtract 3a minus 2a gives a it will be a by 2 here also it will be a by 2 and here also it will be a by 2 now if you multiply we will get 3 so here 2 into 2 4 4 into 2 8 8 into 2 16 and a will be a to the power 4 so root over 3 will be 3 and root over a to the power 4 will be a square and root over 16 will be 4 so we get our final area so it will be root over 3 root over 16 is 4 and root over a to the power 4 is a square so this is the area of the signal board 
So the first part, the area of a signal board using Heron's formula is already done. Now we'll do second part. In second part, it is said if its perimeter is 180. Here perimeter is given 180. Since perimeter is 180, so we'll write given perimeter equal 180. Since perimeter is 180, so semi perimeter will be 180 by 2. So S will be 180 by 2. In place of S, we can write 3A by 2. So we'll replace S by 3A by 2. 3A by 2 equal 180 by 2. This 2 and this 2 go cancel. So here left A equal 3 is into if we take that side become divide. So 180 divided by 3. So we get 60. The value of A is 60. Therefore, area of signal board will be, we have already find out area of signal board, which is root over 3a square by 4. So, we will write area of signal board root over 3a square by 4 and we will replace a by 60. Area of signal board root over 3a square by 4. Root over 3 by 4 into a square means 60 into 60. So, we can reduce. 2 2 is a 4, 2 3 is a 6. Now, if you multiply this, you will get area of signal board. It will be 900 root 3 centimeter square. Now, question number 2. The triangular side walls of a flyover have been used for advertisement. The sides of the walls are 122 meter, 22 meter, and 120 meter. The advertisement yield and earning of rupees 5000 per meter square per year. A company hired one of its wall for three months. How much rent did it pay? So the question is saying about the triangular side advertisement wall, and the measure of the sides are given. And we are asked to find how much rent did it pay for three months. So first we will find the area of the advertisement wall. After that we will find the rent it need to pay after 3 months. So here the measure of the sides are given. So here A will be 122, B will be 22 and C will be 120. Here measure of sides A 122 meter, B 22 meter and C 120 meter. So we will find out semi perimeter S. S will be 122 plus 22 plus 120 by 2. Since we know semi perimeter is sum of measure of all the sides divided by 2. So we are adding all the sides and we are dividing by 2. 264. 264 by 2 will get 132. So semi perimeter is 132 meter. Therefore area of triangular sides wall root over as same formula will use s minus a s minus b s minus c in place of s we will write 132 132 minus a a is our 122 s is 132 minus b b is 22 and again 132 minus c c is our 120 132 minus 122 gives 10 132 minus 22 gives 110 and 132 minus 120 gives 12 this two number if you multiply you get 1320 similarly 12 into 11 132 and then one more zero here now see 132 into 132 both are paired so it will come out of proof so you'll get 1320 meter square this is the area of the triangular wall now we'll find out rent for three months therefore rent for three months will be area is 1320 and the cost of per meter square is 5000 and we are asked to calculate rent for three months since the cost of per meter square for one year is 
5000 so when you need to calculate for three months we have to multiply three and you have to divide by 12 because we are calculating rent only for three months three four the 12 4 into 3 12 4 into 3 12 0 now if you multiply this to 33 into 5 165 165 and here how many zero 1 2 3 4 4 0 so we get 1 lakh 65 thousand